Welcome to this week's grocery haul. Right behind me, maybe I should stand a little differently. Stand over here. Maybe over here. I'll do this. We'll see how this goes. So, this week's grocery haul, let's just get into it. Let's start over here. Is it cutting off my head? A little bit. Let's raise up. Oh. Better. All right, so starting with the protein. This week, I have some beef round steaks. So I have, let's see, there's one, and that is about half a pound. And then I have a package here, which is two and a half pounds. So I'm gonna do these for a lunch. So those will be for a lunch um, with a vegetable, broccoli. And I bought fresh broccoli this week. I, I just told you that. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to you. But I'm gonna have the fresh broccoli and then I'm gonna have some rice. So, but let's move on, keep going through the protein. I have chicken. I got it off from Kroger this week and I have ones that are already seasoned. So this one is Backyard BBQ. I have, this is a pound, a pound and a quarter. I have another backyard barbecue, a pound and a quarter. And then I have a larger package of hot buffalo style seasoning. So, and that is two and a half pounds. So, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, about five. About five pounds of chicken. So that'll be for the dinners. What was I thinking? I didn't even throw the bag. I'm off my game. All right, moving on. I have 4% cottage cheese, a large container. They didn't have, um, the low fat this week. So I have two containers of 4% fat. Not a big deal, it's just a little bit more fat. There were fat free ones there. I just, honestly I steer away from fat free products because they do add other things. Um, a lot of times I think the sodium's gonna be, the sodium's higher, the carbs will be higher, and the sugar will be higher in the lower fat to the no fat. So I just decided to go with the full fat and uh, be a, you know, be a chubby boy this week. So, then I have the Velastic uh, Dill Pickles. I only needed one, because I have some left over from last week. And these were on sale. I have freezer bags. They were on sale. Um, I'm gonna do a video on how to, like, freezing bananas, so that's kind of why I got those. I'll do that soon. I have Classic Fruit Medley, one bag. I have two, four, six bananas, which will be used for the smoothies, just like the classic fruit medley, and the classic fruit medley will also go into the cottage cheese at night for my bedtime snack. Love that bedtime snack. Then I have, what kind of apples? Granny Smith apples this week. So last week I bought the Red Delicious, but my roommate bought these and I put them in with my um, oatmeal and with the cinnamon sugar. And the fact, because these are more tart, it was much better. The Red Delicious are much more sweet where these are more tart and they tasted a lot better. So I'm probably gonna start doing the Granny Smith over the Red Delicious. This is where it's gonna get, now I gotta move over here. All right, I have these sugar-free snack packs. So a lot of people when they're cutting, they buy these and uh, it helps satisfy that craving. I was really just walking through an aisle and I saw them and that's why I bought them. Got another one. So that one is cherry and this one's orange and strawberry. So I'll just eat them sometime throughout the day when I get hungry. Then I have 
seven of these light Greek yogurts. So I have seven of these for these smoothies. I have some eggs, so I'm gonna do eggs this week. I'll be doing two eggs for breakfast. They did fall in my car, so I wonder if any of them broke. Nope, we're good. So I got the eggs. Here is the broccoli. I have five pounds of broccoli, fresh broccoli this week, so I'm still gonna boil it, but, um, yeah, got five pounds of it. I think it might be a little bit much, but really, you know, can you can you really eat too many vegetables? I don't think so. You probably can, but in this case, no. Slide these over so I don't keep turning my back to you. I have a almond breeze almond milk. I have another one I bought yesterday because I ran out, so I just needed one more. Then I have old-fashioned oats for breakfast. I bought the ready-to-serve brown and wild rice. These are gonna actually be for, I'm gonna do a tuna, rice, and salsa in the afternoon. So instead of where I would normally do a chicken meal or a, the chicken sausages last week, I'm gonna do the rice and two packages of tuna. So I have one, two, three of those. Then I bought 10 packages of the, looks like low sodium chunk light tuna in water. So I bought 10 of these. I'll eat two of these with one of these and then some salsa. I'll show you the salsa here in a second. But the macros on these are 70 calories for one pouch, uh, 0.5 grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein. I'm gonna be doing two of them. So. Really good meat source of protein. Get those there. Let me get the salsa. So I bought this salsa about a couple weeks, no, it was like three, four weeks ago. Maybe a couple weeks ago. Hopefully it's still good. I'm sure it's still good. But it, uh, it will be good. So I'm gonna use, focus it in. There we go. Now focus back out. Good. So I'm gonna use this uh, two tablespoons of the serving. I'll probably use two to three tablespoons, and I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna do the rice and this, and I'm kind of going all over the place. So I'm gonna stop at that, but I will show it to you in this video. That is something though I do not prep for five days. It's something I just heat up when I'm ready to eat it. But I'll show it to you. I'll do it today as a demonstration, but just know that I just heat that up when it's ready. I just combine the tuna, the rice, and the salsa. I think that's it. So, let's begin this prep. Let's go.
the prep is done and here's what we have. So I have some leftover chicken as well as some steak, which I will eat tomorrow. I have some broccoli, which is for the post-workout meal up here. So I have nine ounces of chicken with one cup of, I think it was basmati rice. That's what it was. It was basmati rice. So I have five of those meals in each of those meals. We'll have a cup of broccoli, and that is my post-workout. And then for my first lunch, I have or half a cup to one cup of broccoli with six ounces of the brown steak. I have five of those meals. Let me put you down for a second. Oh, I also had leftover rice, which I'll use tomorrow uh, for another meal. There we go. So those are the meals that I have prepped. Now again, I said I was gonna show you making the, the rice, the tuna, and the, what, rice, tuna, and salsa. So let's do that now. But these are all the prepped meals. Remember, if you want the macros, you can find them all in the blog, link in the description, so check it out. And now we're gonna do the tuna, rice, and salsa. You'll need one cup of the ready to serve brown and wild rice. And I already heated it up. So I heated it up in the microwave for one minute. Before you heat it up, you wanna pull the, pull a little, uh, what was that, like an inch opening so that it can breathe or it doesn't pop open, I guess. So that's heated up. Then I have my two packets of tuna and I have my salsa. So I'm gonna start by just dumping this rice packet or container into there. There we go. Then I'm gonna open my two packages of tuna. They don't need to be drained. Now I'm going to add the salsa. There we go. And the salsa choice is really up to you. You can pick whatever you like. You could do the, uh, what is it, picante or picante. You could do that type. It's a little more fresh. I really like just this stuff because it's a little more powerful of a, of a flavor. So it kind of drowns out the tuna taste and the rice taste. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but um, the salsa you pick will help enhance the flavor. Um, but this is, I love this meal. I don't know why I haven't done it in such a long time, because it's pretty cheap and it's good. So just mix it together. And you can also add guac to it if you want. I just, not adding guac to it. I just don't want those those calories right now, maybe I'll do, you know, maybe you could do a fresh avocado and cut up half of it and put it on top. That would probably be pretty good. Or again, you could use the guac, uh, the holy guacamole. I've done it before, but in this case, that's it. So, and again, I don't make these, I'm not going to make them all for the week uh, because the rice just needs heated up the day of. And, you know, now I'm going to have to eat this cold whereas right now it would be good because it'll be warm you know what maybe i will eat it i still need another meal tonight maybe i'll eat this tonight because uh, it is already warm you want them warm if you had to put it in the fridge and get it cold you could eat it cold but i don't think it'll taste as good so but that's all it is and yeah pretty simple let me know what you guys thought about this video feedback is always welcome and appreciated and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.